What's up, everybody? Uh, let me do that again. <laughs> I didn't know what I was going to say. Ready? Roll the camera on three, two. What's up, everybody? Today is a pressing day. In our previous YouTube video, I showed you guys how I like to rehab and warm up my lower body. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I rehab and warm up my upper body and also repair my nerve damage here and increase my mobility for better overhead pressing. Enjoy. What's with the pickle? It's not a pickle, man. It's a cucumber. It's, a it's for the Zico sauce that Desiree is going to make later. <laughs> You want to accumulate your toxins just in case an animal tries to eat you. That way they die. Yeah, Desiree was telling me that she's sweaty and I was saying, that's bad. You want to keep your sweat inside because you want to keep those, do you want to savor and keep those nutrients and toxins? Just in case an animal, like a bear attacks you, if you keep your toxins inside, you, you are toxic to that assaulting animal. It's a defense mechanism. No, like, tox, toxins, uh, you, want, you want to keep those radioactive materials inside to poison attacking animals. All right, so for number one, I'm going to mobilize my lats and shoulders. Where's the pad? I need that pad. You just put the pad on the ground and uh, have like a table or something on the surface conveniently. Conveniently ready for you. I mean, it's very simple, doesn't require shouldn't require that much at all to set up. Just annoying. You want to start with your hands externally rotated, elbows pushed inside, so arms externally rotated like so. Round your back and then slowly press your armpits to the floor. Now you should feel a stretch in your lats. Now before my workouts, well Aaron Horschig prescribed for me uh, from Squat University. He prescribed for me uh, five repetitions of 10 second holds. I don't want to stretch it out too much. I just want to mobilize the joints before I begin my pressing workout. After the workout, I can do this stretch and hold it for one to two minutes to further increase the mobility. But right now, I want my muscles to remain tight and active. Just mobilize the joint capsule for that extra range of motion. Now, it's very important to try to push your armpits towards the floor, opening up. And I keep a roughly 90 degree bend in my elbows. But you could experiment with opening that angle and closing it for a different angle of stretch. Okay, good. Yes, awesome. And that's it. Now I work out. No, you don't. No, there's a lot more to go. Okay. Now we got ulnar glides. The idea here is to stretch out my ulnar and medial, median, me, medial, median, median, median nerve. And this is just a little motion I do to help me with my nerve strengthening and recovery. And also really helps with my medial epicondylitis tendinopathy. So tendinitis that I have in my elbow from gripping too much. Because I have a world-class grip, which comes at a cost, like pain. I just do 20 total repetitions each side, but I like to split that up into two sets of 10. So the idea here is you wanna rotate your arm out as much as you can, try to extend your wrist, and pushing your elbow and hand up to the sky, and twisting your head away, and you should feel a stretch all across here. Now the other side. Next motion, pronated neck tucks. Now the idea here for me is to pull back my neck and strengthen up um, whatever muscles pull the head and neck back. Again, this is purely to help with my neck health and I clear up any of my remaining nerve damage I might have. I allow my, I first just hold my hands behind my back, I have a pad in front of me. Ideally, this is done on a bench, it's better. I let my shoulders and my elbows relax towards the floor and I pull my shoulders back as hard as I can, feeling a stretch in my anterior. 
and pull my neck back, holding five seconds. Release and pull. Then I do 20, 20 repetitions total. One challenge here is to not arch through your lower back. I'm trying to really engage my thoracic to arch and just my neck to pull back. If you have a stiff thoracic, that can often lead to neck issues, which is my ultimate problem that I'm dealing with right now. A stiff thoracic. My neck is fairly mobile, but my, the tightness in my thoracic spine is pulling on my neck and causing me issues with my nerves. Although for the last week, by doing these and my other mo mobilizers and upper body recovery work, my neck and nerve have been healing at a much more rapid pace. Uh, uh, my next motion before my workout, because I'm conveniently laying on the floor with a mat below me, is a nap. So this right here is a ball sack. A massaging ball sack. That doesn't sound better. Uh, it's, yeah, well it's two softballs in a sock. What makes this especially good for the back is because of these two pressure points here created by the balls that push into your rectors and trapezius. So much better for rolling out the back than a regular foam roller. Now my purpose here though, isn't just to roll it, it's to mobilize my thoracic spine. So basically I start, I used to start with just my hands here, but now to make it even more difficult, I raise my arms and I just try to arch only my thoracic spine around the balls. Without arching my lower back too much. I'm just trying to mobilize the thoracic spine to allow my nerves to glide more freely and allow better overhead extension. I do 20 repetitions like this. If you do not have a ball sack, Get a ball sack. Costs about five bucks. Yeah, it's very cheap. Just go get two softballs, some soccer socks, tie them together. I've been doing these uh, thanks to Aaron from Squat University for about a week now, and uh, I have not felt my nerve flare up or become be an issue for last week. So I really hope that's not a fluke. I think these are really doing the trick and helping my neck feel a lot better and my nerves to fire fully again in my right arm. So really awesome. My next overhead rehab of the day, I do underhanded scapular retractions and depression. Dep I do underhanded scapular retractions and depressions. This helps stretch out my lats and also activate my lats and rhomboids and lower trapezius to retract and depress my scapula. These muscles on my right side have been affected by that damaged nerve. So I'm much better now, but about a month ago, I could hardly retract and depress my shoulder blades while hanging. So now I do three sets of 10, although a month ago I started off with five sets of as many as I could, building up to five sets of 10. I've recently dropped the volume of these because my lats are firing up again. So what you're looking for in this is your body to be fairly even. I've really struggled with my body twisting to my left, to my non-damaged side to where my lat is stronger. So I'm trying to stay as centered as I possibly can and trying to pull my shoulder blades down towards my butt cheeks. It's really good to, it's really good for this motion to have a partner to watch and make sure you're doing this evenly or have a camera set behind you so you can observe how you move. What's next? All right, coming up next, a front lever tuck. This is gonna challenge my lats even further. The goal is for me to work up to 10 repetitions and slowly learn to extend my body, but that's for another time. Right now, just rolling my body up, activating my lats maximally. <sighs> 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 
So the purpose of that is just to activate my lats, to, to adduct my arm into my body. When I started these about a month ago, I couldn't get my right arm to pull. My, my whole body would shift to my left. I was only able to get like one. And I worked up to five or six reps, and I gotta keep on working. So coming up next, just the freaking annoying. Yeah, come on. Coming up next, we got row rotation presses. It's hot. It's really hot. Okay. So set, get your set up. The idea here is not just, it's not just important to be able to retract and depress your shoulder blades, they should also scoop. So imagine your shoulder blades, they should pull back, down, and also scoop along your rib cage to allow your glenohumeral joint to open up and uh, open up for more or better overhead extension. My brain's not working. I don't know where I am. All right. So basically row, hold three seconds. Try to really drop my shoulder down and back. Rotate, hold three seconds. Now try to really exaggerate that rotation, scooping that shoulder blade under and through, and then hold up top for five seconds. Now do five repetitions each side, two sets. Now, the last little motion that I need to do is wrist extensions. Oftentimes what happens, because we're always gripping and flexing our wrists, our, our forearm flexors get really strong, our wrist extensors get weak, and such has happened to me. And this imbalance throws the elbow off. To bring balance back to my wrists, I do just nice and I like to keep my arm just, my elbow just slightly bent, we're keeping plenty of pressure. I like to feel a little bit of pressure. My lateral epicondyle, epic, my lateral epic, my lateral epicondyle, and extend. I do three to four sets of 15 repetitions when recovering tendons. It's very important to move slowly, placing more emphasis on the eccentric than the concentric. Even during the concert trick, you do want to be slow though. Explosive movements can injure the tendon further. If you keep it nice and slow, that'll just put pressure on the tendon, not tear it any farther, and allow those, that micro trauma to heal up. This is very exciting. It just keeps going on forever. Just, I mean, so it's actually really important to be patient during this. When recovering, it could take months. It could take months of consistent work every single day to get your body back up to 100%. But the work is worth it. Last set was eight. I gave you a little note that fucked you up mentally. My bad, bro. Uh, it sucked me in my tracks. But next, next few sets, you got this. Mm-hmm.
Nice. Okay. Nice. But set the team along really nicely. A little bit rushed, but I'm happy with it. My uh, much more even drive through both my arms, and I'm just so excited for that. That's really good. Really awesome. Get 10. You got it. You got it. Come on. some reps so that I really got in the zone try to make it up with some little extra pauses but I'm gonna clean it up over next month it's not even June and June is gonna be my last fully focused recovery month yeah they released new dates for uh world songs man it's November now yeah world's choice man will be November we hope all right I still gotta finish up my pressing workout with all sorts of push-ups Skull crushers, other triceps things, and side delts, rear delts, front delts, maybe some abs. I don't know. We'll see when we get there. I also have to finish up my leg rehab. Still got plenty of work ahead of me, but that's it for the video, you guys. Till next time, I hope some of this overhead rehab work can benefit some of you who uh, have, are going through something similar. Good luck. Oh, stay classy meats, everybody. Making me happy. <sighs> Need that protein. What's that white stuff? That's tzatziki sauce. What? Tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki sauce. Tzatziki sauce? Tzatziki sauce? It's yogurt with cucumbers. <laughs> <laughs>